Hello everyone, we're here to talk about the pages functionality in 1592. So what's new? Starting 1592, administrators can now define collection of pages in modern UX. Uh, this would be your single place where you can access the desired clarity um, pages or external application pages without uh, being inside a specific object instance where in the past you either had to be inside a custom object or inside uh, projects, um, that is no longer the case. You can now use pages to have your collection of links. Why is this important? Customers that have data across multiple applications want to be able to see it in a single place. Pages will now allow you to do that. Uh, customers also love the channel functionality, but that channel functionality had to be inside an object instance, and they wanted to move that a level above. Um, this is also our uh, first step in the direction of being able to set default pages in the modern UX. The pages itself, you will see that there is going to be a new icon that is available in the modern UX where um, upon clicking, you will access pages. Users can access page provided they have the page navigate right. The multiple collection of pages can be created and organized based on information types. So you can create pages and pages will also support blueprint where you can then define um, different channels to have internal or external pages. So first let's look at from the, the studio configuration of page. First, page is a studio object. In page, you can define custom attributes, which then can be used as parameters to your links within channels. You can secure page instances using either an instant write, global write, or OBS write. So Pages can be secured. You can create and assign pages to different OBS uh, to see different types of uh, data. So there's a lot more security that's available for page. Getting into the administration, pages come with Blueprint. So you can go into the page and you can then define the Blueprint as to which all different tabs you want to be able to see when within the page. You can define channels to internal clarity page or external applications. And when you are uh, using that, those external or internal applications will be displayed within the clarity frame itself. You can configure the channel order within the blueprint so that the orders, uh, the tab order is uh, defined within the blueprint itself. And you can pass the custom attributes to your blueprint as a parameter. The attributes in pages can also be secured using page level security. Right. With that, let's look at how pages work in, uh, in Clarity. So here I am in my Clarity 15.9.2. The first thing I'm going to do is go into the administration side and show you the studio configuration for the new pages. If I go into my administration, I go into objects. I see that there is a new object called page with the ID UI underscore page. I can go inside and I can see that the page has multiple attributes that I have created for my object. So it is a studio configurable uh, object. Next, I'm going to go into my modern UX and I'm going to go into the administration within the modern UX. And let's look at the blueprint for my pages. So I have multiple 
blueprints that I have created. Each blueprint can have its own list of channels. So let's just open the administration one. I have properties where I've defined just the name and ID. And under modules, I have defined 15 channels um, to different administration sides of the Clarity application. I can click on edit and I have the option to add or remove. Notice I have removed the properties from this uh, blueprint. So let's discard this. Let's go look at another one, which is my personal pages. Here I have created um, channels to my uh, classic site, but in this case, what an end user would be more uh, useful for, which is the action items, the general page, and my PM alerts. And the last one I want to look at is the project dashboard, where here I have included two custom attributes. The first one is the project name. And the next is their days late. So these are two attributes that I've included. And in the modules, I have the option, uh, the properties page being displayed where my end user can set some values. And then based on those values, I have the other two dashboards being displayed where I'm passing parameters to them. So let's look at pages in action. As you can see, there is my new icon for my pages. When I go in there, all the predefined pages that I have access to, whether it's a OBS level access or instant level access, I can see those only those pages. So the first one um, I'm going to go is my BI dashboard, in which case I can look at the different reports uh, whether it's uh, any of the BI tool, Power BI's, Tableau, and others, or including the Jaspersoft reports, can be then just seen from this single page. So in my case, I am looking at some Power BI dashboards. The next would be is the personal pages. So if I want my end users to um, take action on any of these Clarity action items, I can create a personal page upon clicking. The first tab they'll see is any action item. So I see that for me, there is no action item pending, but if there was, I could easily take action on them from right here. Or I can have the same general page as my classic UI, which then be displayed right here uh, to them. Next, I want to use is my project dashboard, something that I could set up for my project managers, where upon going there is the two fields that they can essentially select. The first is a drop down, which they can select to see the dashboard for that specific project. So I can select my project, click on the project dashboard, and that dashboard for that specific project will get displayed. So I can see all the re relevant information. If I have um, a, a portlet where I want to see how many days late is a specific um, a specific project or the milestones within those project, I can then populate. I want to look at anything older than 30 days only because I only care about older than a month. I can populate that value, click on the late milestones, and then any milestones that would be uh, late more than 30 days will then automatically get displayed right here. The pages does use the common grid, so you can again set all the columns right here. So if I wanted to have any of these custom attributes, I can easily do that uh, as well as I can star any specific ones. That uh, concludes the demo for the pages functionality in Clarity 15.9.2.